everybody and welcome to another broadcast of Community Talk. I'm Jereen Hoff and we are broadcasting from Winter today. Our first stop is Kenya Kombowe who spoke to role players in the tourism industry in Rundu. Of course everyone is heavily impacted by COVID and they share their views. Then just tell us on your experience. Mm. Yeah, experiencing the experience, the feeling of um, watching your wealth falling mm. apart your life situation around you. Mm. Now, what I have learned uh, with this coronavirus, I mean, one has to surrender. Mm. Because I have, for example, myself, I have to balance. I have to balance myself. Mm. Otherwise, if I don't do that, mm. I can just commit suicide or mm -hmm. throw myself in the river. I mean, you cross over. Yes. But the nice experience, what I've learned uh, here is I'm paying more, much attention to my spiritual feeling. Yes. You know, the surrendering to life or to to God. Mm. I mean, watching my wealth falling apart. What can I do out of that? Yes. Um, deep more into prayer. Mm. And this is the most beautiful moment or time whereby there's no stress. Although I can see that okay, there's no income. Yes. But how is now life without income? Yes. How is life without a car that I used to drive, now I have to walk and all that stuff. Yes. Um, there is something that I found in the beauty of surrendering yes. to, to our God or what I can say to my spiritual life. Yes. And I'm enjoying the still prayers. Now I can <laughs> listen more, my inner voice. Yes. I can hear it more. Things are becoming more clear. Okay. Clear and all that stuff. Yeah. Okay. So I'm enjoying it. And what is your message maybe to your other your colleagues in the industry, what should they not do and what should they do? Yeah, it's it's really quite um, a bit challenging there on the advice what mm. to do and what not to do. Because yes. we are different. For me, in my case, I've, I've got only eight rooms. Yes. Other people you've got, you see, they, are, they have 20 rooms and yes. then they have other activities like going for Boat rides. hunting, bike rides or mm wild game mm. safaris and all that yes. stuff. So these ones, they are really feeling it. For us small, yeah. the feeling is there, but it's, it's at least it's minimized comparing to the other one. Ah, okay. And where we are hit more than those bigger ones is, for us, our saving is so small. Yes. For the big ones, at least they have much. Yes. Even if they can close down for a year, mm. they can survive on their savings. Yes. But for us, we are small. And yeah, what I can say that uh, enjoy the moment. Yes. Try to balance the feeling of that pain. Yes. Try to balance it and just move along the wave. Ah, okay. Because this is what we have. It's the it's the reality. Losing wealth, seeing how things around you fall apart, and this is not the life that we are used to. Ah, okay. It's just like you can die today and then you leave everything. Then what? Yes. Yeah. But I think what uh, people what I can advise is this thing that happened now with the coronavirus, especially mm. for me. Uh, I'm a Christian, I'm Catholic, I yes. love going to church. Mm. So some of these things that is happening, I've heard it in the church, how the bishop and the priest are preaching about it. Yes. It's there in the Bible. Mm. For people who are like, maybe they are scared or freaked out, I think these are some of the people who never open the Bible or listen so that they can know that what is currently happening mm. is not something as a surprise. Mm. It happened before already and mm. it's also in the Bible. Ah, okay. Jesus thought about on this lesson. Oh, okay. So for those who read about it, they can say that, yes, this is a reality. We know this thing are there in the Bible, you find it. Ah, okay. So relax. There's nothing we can do. Yes. Corona is here. Yes. It's not only in Namibia, but it's everywhere in the whole world. Okay. What can we do? Let us just surrender ourselves, move along the way and see there is a big opportunity, there, especially on stillness. Mm. One sees listen enjoy nature and all that stuff so, okay yeah that's what i can say <laughs> no thank you very much for your time and we appreciate it yeah okay and we hope all the best everything uh normalizes soon yeah okay yeah <laughs> thank you kenya next stop is closer to home Soos die toerisme bedrijf, word die gasvrijheidsbedrijf, specifiek restaurante ook baie zwaar getref door die um, coronavirus. My collega Jolanda Nel, wat vandag ook achter die camera is, het gaan um, aankoop by Vintage Coffee Shop en gesels met Martin Lievenberg oor die plannen wat hy maak om aan die lewe te blijven. 
Die eens bedrijvige vintage coffee shop mag dolks te lijk, maar ik kom bijs voor ons steeds hard te werk om wacht niet eerder te bedienen. Ik ga zelfs met Maarten Liebenberg over hoe die inperking zijn bezigheid affecteert. Maarten, hoe kom ik hier besluit om voor te gaan met wacht niet eerder? Ik kan het ons niet ophouden, ik kan niet opgeven. Nie. So, dat is gewoon maar aan en elke cent dat je maakt op je eigen stadium, is een cent dat je een cent dat je krijgt. En dus beter is. 1 dollar is beter dan 0 dollar, so jy moet iets in, in kry, so dit is baie reden hoe kom ons dit doen. En ons het eindelijk nie een afleveringsdienst nie, maar vir die companies en die groot companies maak dit dit ek vir hulle makkelijker als ons iemand te stuur. So as ons een groot aflevering het, dan gaan doen ons, doen ons dit ding is, dan weet ons ook hoe die kost die ander kant uitkom. So, en ons maak seker dat dit recht by die klienten uitkom hier is. Hygiëne in vooral een restaurant, so kom by is, is groot prioriteit. Moes jylle baie groot aanpassings maak van dat die pandemie in Namibie is? Man, die kombuis is maar oor die algemeen die kombuis skoon wees. So, veranderinge in die kombuis is daar nie veel nie, behalwe dat ons maar net doodseker maak met die mense. Elke baie kort kort, sê maar 20 minuten of half uur, seker maak hulle handen hande was, seker maak hulle hou, hou die blaie skoon. Um, desinfect het maar bij meer gereeld, maar in die kombuis self moet het mos maar skoon wees vir die algemeen, so daar kan nie rechter, daar is nie rechter veranderinge wat so, dat ek so kan sê nie is. En dan laastens, ons is nie seker wat gaan gebeur na die inperking nie, maar wat is jou boodskap aan, aan jou kliente? Man, ons hou ondersteun local, dit is maar die, dit is die ding, ondersteun local, want die, ons saffer rechtig die kans dat ons dalk gaan toemaak, um, is, a, is, is a realiteit wat ons in die gezicht staar, so dit stress ons bykie, en die mense wat ons nog ondersteun, baie dankie daarvoor, en dan is, wat ons kan het nie sonder julle doen nie. Ok, next stop, 400 kilo's van hier af. Ons praat met Mokkemaat Sani Saban, wat hulde bring aan noodpersoneel, wat aan die voorgrond is van die corona strijd. My hulde blik vir jou nie. Soos Florence Nightingale met haar beskermende en liefde om jou. Een lucht is staande op een rots. Pas jy vol, werd jylle met trots. In die voorste linies kom hulle te voorskyn. Engel geklee in wit, laat die pijn verdwijn. In die tijd van duister, bly jylle lampe aan die wind. As vir pleers, doen roepen, plus getrouw, gestaan. Die manne in wit en blauw patroleer en word een waarschuwende stem vir my en jou. Toch by die een oor in en die ander oor uit. Maar blaf is nie erger as wanneer corona jou gaan weet. Kom ons respecteer gesag en doen dit wat word verwacht. Was die hande en bou die afstand. Wees wees en bly liewers thuis. Bye, also from the coast, we speak to um, a, a maritime and commercial lawyer and her insights on the virus. My name is Carol Jamie Schroeder and I was asked to share my thoughts about the coronavirus pandemic with you. A mini disclaimer, today I'm addressing you in my personal capacity and the views expressed in this video are my own. Many of us have faced many obstacles, challenges, and hardships in our lives, but the coronavirus pandemic is second to none, like none other experienced before in decades, and it is different. Different because we are not only facing the pandemic coined COVID-19 as one or as a group, not only as a Namibian nation, not as a continent, as Africans, but we are all confronted with the pandemic as humankind. Hence, we all have a role to play in flattening the curve, whether or not the threat that is COVID-19 is considered real to you or not. There is so much information, views, opinions being spread about COVID-19, but equally so, we are being fed with so much misinformation, and therein lies the danger of miseducation and misguided perceptions. We have heard it before, but it is important to always verify your sources and we must not be trigger happy to share or forward informa information without doing so first. The bottom line is that everything concerning the coronavirus, like any other global viruses and pandemics we have faced, 
is currently under study. And it will take time to truly understand and ultimately control, manage and contain the coronavirus. Despite the undeniable and severe shocks to our economy, I must commend and applaud the Namibian government on the preventative measures and initiatives it has taken since the declaration of the state of emergency and the regulations it has issued in connection therewith. Because ultimately, it was amongst others done for the protection of public safety and to protect Namibia's greatest assets, her people. Furthermore, many companies, institutions and persons in their personal capacities have continued to make a positive difference in the lives of those who remain destitute, impoverished and vulnerable. It would be remiss of me not to acknowledge those operating on the front lines, doctors, nurses, persons in the medical and pharmaceutical industry, but also the media who has done an absolute great job in keeping us all informed. And of course, each and every employee and employer who are providing essential services and potentially being high, at higher risk of becoming infected. I salute you and God bless you all. Despite the devastating impact that COVID-19 has had on individuals, families, Namibia and the world over, and there are too many to mention, there are a number of positive things that have since emerged and to mention but a few, the rate of full recovery is very high. We are more conscious of how precious life truly is. The importance of health and lifestyle cannot be overemphasized and we are connecting with our families more for the most part. Hopefully reassessing what truly matters in life and being more appreciative of things that we would otherwise overlook or take for granted and leveraging of automation and technology which is a great leap for the fourth industrial revolution. Many of us have been faced with anxiety, uncertainty, have panic bought and want things to normalize. But we need to get used to a new normal, not only under lockdown, but beyond. I was asked to share or mention rather how COVID-19 has impacted my life. And like the rest of the world, I've been sanitizing and washing my hands more than I normally do, social distancing and keeping safe. The industry that I operate in is designated as an essential service. And as such, I have continued working as I normally do with the only difference being that my duty station has since changed and I only go to my office on an as and when required basis. On the plus side, I've resumed my fitness regime. I'm eating healthier, reading, cooking and baking much more. And I'm sure the same rings true for many of you. Some I know are enjoying their off time and consider the lockdown somewhat of a mini vacay. When life carries on as it normally does and when COVID-19 is no longer a threat, let us not forget about the humanity, acts of generosity, kindness, love and renewed passion for life that we have shown not only to others, but most importantly ourselves. For those facing depression, feeling hopeless, fearful, and like you cannot do this or take this anymore, remember how you speak to yourself matters the most and how you treat yourself also matters the most. So focus only on the good and do not let yourself go. Do not stop doing the things you love, whether you are married, with or without children or families. It is not an easy situation to be in. And in fact, life generally is difficult no matter where we may find ourselves. But in order to effectively overcome the COVID-19 pandemic and to get back to our normal lives, it is absolutely critical that we exercise patience, tolerance, understanding in these testing times more so for each of us to take co-ownership of fighting this pandemic whether it be on the front lines or simply from the comfort of our own homes it might feel like too big of an ask but it is absolutely essential that each and every one of us myself included must fully comply with the state of emergency regulations that have been set by the namibian government we are not called the land of the brave for nothing be a hero keep safe Keep healthy, protect yourself and others. It is, each, it is up to each and every one of us and no contribution will ever be too small. I would like to leave you with the words of Isaac Mutfotlani, who is the CEO of Business Connection. And he said, if we do not take care of today, we might as well forget about tomorrow. With that, I'm Carol Schroeder signing out from the mighty Rongo region, Walfish Bay, Namibia. I thank you. 
And finally, everybody's got to keep safe and exercise and busy during these times. Um, we see what our local athlete has to say. Hi everyone, I hope everyone's doing well. I'm Christleen Kleinin Albert. And as you all know, we've been in lockdown for the past three weeks now, and it's been extended for two more weeks. And it's important that we stay healthy and fit and stay at home with our families and spend more time with them as well. For the time that we're still going to be in lockdown, I'm going to be taking my schoolwork into consideration by revising my work before we start with our online classes, which will start next week, Tuesday, the 21st of April. And I feel as a provide learner, we have the privilege to have these online classes so that we can stay up to date with our work and we don't lose any time with schoolwork. As you all know, I am an Olympian athlete and I do high jump, long jump and 100 meter hurdles. So it's important for me to stay in shape. So I'm going to briefly show you guys what I would do in a training session. Now obviously I'll not be studying and training the whole day. In my free time I'll either be watching movies and series on Netflix or I'd be playing this online game with a bunch of my friends called PUBG Mobile. So guys please be careful, stay indoors and stay healthy. Thank you everybody for tuning in for this weekend's broadcast. Um, we hope things will return to normal as soon as possible. In the meantime, if you want to stay entertained, the Goethe Institute is streaming a live show of Big Ben tomorrow night at 7 o'clock on their Facebook page. Don't miss out. Until next week, stay safe.